In this video, we will be troubleshooting contactor issues with the single phase 3 wire iDrive 300. If you are experiencing a situation where you manually position the open switch and the open contactor engages, but when you manually position the closed switch and the closed contactor does not engage, basically nothing happens, even with the bypass limit jumpers in the bypass position, it's time to take the following steps in determining the reasons behind this issue. For this example, we have simulated the open contactor working and the closed contactor being problematic. The first thing you want to do is you want to meter the A1 and the A2 locations on the contactors while the manual switch is in the open and the closed positions. You should be reading 24 volt VAC plus. Second, you want to go ahead and swap the two A1 wires on the open and closed contactor and see if the manual switch in the open position will in fact energize the closed contactor and vice versa. Third, you want to power down your iDrive doing this. Now what you want to do is you want to disconnect the thermal overload by loosening the five step screws securing it to the bottom of the open contactor and then basically slide the thermal overload down and inspect the wiring that is installed on the terminal blocks making sure the wires are positioned in a way that when screwed back down it will allow the circuit to maintain its voltage flow. Fourth, when done inspecting you want to reinsert the thermal overload securing pins into the bottom of the open contactor and then re-tighten the screws securing them as well as all the bottom screws across the open and closed contactors making sure they're snug and tight. And finally we want to test the PCB board on the back of the iDrive doors manual switch to see if the manual switch is in fact working. Now to test the close signal you want to put a meter lead on the J1 COM and then also one on the J2 purple close wire and then you want to manually position the switch to close and you should be getting 24 volt VAC plus. Off and auto position you should be getting residual voltage. Now the second part of the closed signal test is you want to put a meter lead on the J1 COM and one meter lead on the top soldering point which is for the close signal. Then you want to manually position the switch to close and you should be getting 24 volt VAC. The positions of off and auto you should be getting residual voltage. Now to test the open signal you want to put a meter lead on the J1 COM and one on the J2 orange open wire manually position the switch to the open position and you should get 24 volt VAC off and auto residual voltage. And second you want to put a meter lead on the J1 COM and one on the bottom soldering point which is for the open signal and then manually switch the manual switch to the open position and you should get 24 volt VAC off and auto residual voltage. Now when finished we should be able to determine where the problem lies which commonly can be resolved by an on-the-spot correction but if not please call support with your findings so we can provide you with options to resolve this matter at hand and that's our video on advanced troubleshooting contactor issues for the single phase three wire iDrive 300.